Experiment to monitor the rate of production of oxygen gas from hydrogen peroxide using manganese dioxide as a catalyst. In this experiment, we will investigate the rate at which oxygen is released from a sample of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes slowly into oxygen and water. However, the rate at which it decomposes may be increased by adding a small amount of manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide is a black powder that is used in batteries. In this experiment, we will use it as a catalyst to speed up the rate at which hydrogen peroxide decomposes to give off oxygen. Here we have a trough filled to about half its capacity with water. A 250 centimeters cubed graduated cylinder filled with water was inverted over a beehive shelf standing in the trough of water. Place 50 centimetres cubed of the 20 volume hydrogen peroxide solution in the Buckner flask. Place the end of the delivery tube under the graduated cylinder. One person will take charge of reading the volume of gas given off and the other person will take charge of starting the reaction and measuring the time. When you are ready to begin the experiment, Quickly add a small amount of manganese dioxide, enough to fit on the tip of a spatula, to the hydrogen peroxide in the conical flask. Quickly put on the rubber stopper and immediately start the stopwatch. We see that oxygen begins to come off since the hydrogen peroxide is decomposing into water and oxygen according to the equation shown on the screen. At half minute intervals, tell your partner to read the volume of the gas in the graduated cylinder. Thirty seconds. Sixty seconds. Ninety seconds. One hundred twenty seconds. One hundred and fifty seconds. One hundred and eighty seconds. Using the data that you yourself have collected when you carried out the experiment, enter the results in a table similar to that shown on the screen.
210 seconds. Two hundred and forty seconds. Two hundred and seventy seconds. Three hundred seconds. Place another two hundred and fifty centimeters cubed graduated cylinder over the beehive shelf and continue to measure the volume of oxygen gas until the reaction is completed. That is when the volume of gas evolved remains constant. Using graph paper, plot a graph of volume of oxygen on the y-axis against time on the x-axis. Using your own data, you can calculate the average rate of the reaction as shown in the textbook. You can also calculate the rate of reaction at any one instant in time, that is the instantaneous rate, as shown in the textbook. This concludes the experiment.